Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork makes the screen work. Oh. <laughs> oh no. This is exhumed. The show where we look through our crypt of DVDs and Blu-rays and exhume one. Fear of you and pleasure. Uh, yeah, so essentially it's a moratorium on why do we own this? Is this worth owning? And uh, also a chance to kind of go through our collection of what films. Is, what does moratorium mean? Moratorium, I think it's like when you uh, talk about someone after they're dead. So, like, when the news reports on Trump. <laughs> Last time, it was your turn to pick a movie. You did so successfully. Uh, this time, it is my turn, and I have to do it blind. Uh, for reasons. We decided. Don't Am I facing spin. the right direction? Yeah, I guess. Am I gonna... Am I going toward the shelf? Yep. Careful. Careful. Yeah, I'm moving. It's a movie. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, movie. It's Scream 3. Scream 3. Well, you might be wondering why I picked Scream 3. Well, it's because I was blindfolded and it was between Scream 1, 2, and 4. So, yes. So, starting off, we've got the basic Blu ray. Not very attractive, but Blu ray is as Blu ray does. We're in Canada, so we get this weird 13 plus sticker on it instead of an R rating. Uh, on the inside, it is, in fact, a very standard disc print with the French version of everything you saw on the other side available here. So if you prefer your scream to be called Frissions, then this is the, the side for you. Let's go on and, yeah, this is uh, not much to write home about here. It's, it's a very standard release. Let's read the back of the box. What does the back of the box have to say? Well, Sidney Prescott lives in safely guarded seclusion bodies begin dropping around the Hollywood set of Stab 3, the latest movie sequel based on the gruesome Greensboro killing. And when the escalating terror finally brings her out of hiding, Sydney and other Greensboro survivors are once again drawn into an insidious game of horror movie mayhem. But just when they thought they knew how to play by the rules, they discover all the rules have been broken. Featuring hot newcomers Parker Posey and Jenny McCarthy in another stellar ensemble cast, Scream 3 offers an unmatched mix of thrills, laughter, and suspense that brings this spine-tingling saga to an unforgettable conclusion. Why do we own this movie? Uh, you got it for me for Christmas. We had seen the series a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and we're really impressed with it. Yeah. What did we get out of rewatching it? Well, I think when we first watched all of them, it was like this wonderful novelty for us, and it was like... At the time, I don't really remember, but I feel like it felt kind of flawless because you were like, this is also great. So rewatching it for me, it was interesting watching it with seeing where it was like, not the greatest, but also being reminded of some of the really fun parts. Like right before a certain scene started, we were both like, oh, right, this, and it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a great movie but it's a movie that's ridiculously enjoyable to watch. Yeah. And I will say this about the Scream series, unlike other slasher series, which I also enjoy, uh, it has no truly bad entries. Like, I think this one is probably the one with the most story problems, mm -hmm. but it's still ridiculously fun to watch. It's, it doesn't take itself too seriously, almost to a fault in some areas. Scream is a solid series. Um, but like you look at other long-running horror series like Nightmare on Elm Street or Halloween or something like that and they range from great movies to like how did this get made this is worse than a high school play movie and Scream is like even its worst movie is still really fun mm -hmm. so I'll take it mm -hmm. and I wouldn't consider this one its worst I agree with you about the fourth movie. Uh, we, we don't really like the fourth movie very much. The, the main villain, I think the performance is so bad that it took me out of the movie completely. Fourth movie is personally my least favorite. Oh. So what score would you give Scream 3? Three is pretty good. I would give Scream a three I as well. I would give it a three. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, so should the viewer buy it? I mean, yeah, if you like Scream 1 and 2. I think only if you're a completionist 
like we are. Mm. Um, it's certainly not the strongest in the series. I think if you have Scream 1 and 2, you're probably set. Like, you're probably good. But if you have 3 and 4, you're just going to have more fun. I think owning all the Halloween movies, even as a completionist, is ridiculous. Because I'm not going to watch most of those. Uh, we own all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and there are some of those that I'm like, yeah, I never need to see that again. Yeah, but that was like a box set. It, it, it was like a box a, set. We yeah. bought them all separately or something. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hold on, I'm flanketing. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, give us a like. If you didn't, don't. Head on over to thehungrycreatures.com for more episodes, short films, or to sign up for our free magazine. Catchphrase. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he got sneezed on. He did.